This video shows how to create a Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse v2 connection in Informatica Cloud Data Integration and the three authentication methods that you can use to connect to Snowflake. First, we'll get the account name, user role, and warehouse name from your Snowflake account. Log in to the Snowflake portal. In the Snowflake URL, the account name is the first segment in the domain. You can find the user role and warehouse name on the Worksheets tab. There are three authentication methods you can use to connect to Snowflake. With standard authentication, you only need the username and password for your Snowflake account. With key pair authentication, you need a public and private key pair and a Snowflake account username. With authorization code, you'll use the OAuth 2.0 protocol. Now we'll show you how to generate the public and private keys for key pair authentication using the Open SSL command line tool. Open the command prompt. Run these two commands to generate the public and private keys in a location that the secure agent can access. Then, go to the directory where you saved the two files on your machine. The pub file is the public key, and the p8 file is the private key. Open the public key file, and copy the contents. Now we'll go to the Snowflake console. First, we'll make sure we're using the account admin role. Then, we run the alter user command. The command assigns the public key to a Snowflake user that we specify here. Now, paste the public key details from the pub file and run the command. And that's it! We can see that the public key is assigned to the Snowflake user. Next, we'll show you how to create an OAuth integration in Snowflake using the account admin role. We'll add the create security integration command, enter a name for the authorization integration, the IICS instance URL, and the user role, and run the command. The authorization integration is successfully created. Now we'll get the authorization details, add the integration name, and run the security integration command again. Copy the client ID, authorization URL, and the access token URL, and paste the information into a text file. Now we'll get the client secret. Run the client secret command using the integration name. The client secret is generated now. Copy and paste the client secret into the text file where you saved the authorization details, and save the text file in a secure location. We'll use the details from the text file in the next section of the video. Now we'll create a Snowflake connection in Cloud Data Integration. Log in to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services and open the Administrator Service. Click Connections and create a new connection. Name the connection. Select the Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse V2 connection type. And then select a runtime environment. Here we select the authentication method to connect to Snowflake. We'll start with the standard method. Enter the username and password for the Snowflake account. Enter the Snowflake account name, warehouse name, and the user role in Snowflake. You can also add JDBC URL parameters to connect to Snowflake. Let's test the connection. The connection is successful so we'll save it. Now we'll configure key pair authentication. Enter the path and the name of the private key file that we created earlier. You can enter the private key file password if the private key file is encrypted and test the connection. The connection is successful, so let's save it. Finally, we'll use a new connection to configure authorization code authentication. Select authorization code authentication and add the Snowflake account and warehouse details. Copy and paste the authorization URL, access token URL, client ID, and the client secret from your text file, and generate the access token. 
Log in to your Snowflake account when the console appears. You can see the access token you generated in the connection details. Test the connection. Great, it's successful. So we'll save it. And that's it. In this video, we showed you how to create a Snowflake V2 connection in Informatica Cloud Data Integration and how to use the standard authorization code and key pair authentication methods. For more information, see the Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse V2 Connector Guide on the Informatica documentation portal. Visit our communities and support hub or check out our website.